Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the story of the door, page three, the very first page of the Wordsworth edition. Um, right, I want to look at this particular co quote from chapter one of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, it, Robert Louis Stevenson describes Mr. Utterson. He said, he says of him, um, the bottom part of um, the first paragraph. In this character, it was frequently his fortune to be the last reputable acquaintance and last good influence in the lives of downgoing men. And to such as these, so as long as they came about his chambers, he never marked a shade of change in his demeanour. Um, Mr. Utterson is a very important character in the novel. He plays the role not only of a friend to Dr. Jekyll, um, but also a detective. He finds things out. And crucially, he's introduced here as really being unshockable. So he never marked a shade of change in his demeanour. Um, it's, it's quite interesting... So when um, Utterson is shocked, it's all the more surprising in this novel. So he sets him up, uh, Utterson up as a lawyer who is very... Um, he's used to scandals, used to dealing with difficult situations. Um, and for that reason, when he is shocked, um, as later on he is, um, it's all the more powerful... In this chapter, The Story of a Door, um, we cannot overemphasize the importance of the title, The Story of a Door, because basically that is the story of this particular um, this particular novel. And that's important to think about. And what lies behind the door is the key, in a sense, to the novel. Um, if we look at uh, page four. Now I'll read a description in page four for you um, of the second paragraph. Two doors from one another. On the left hand going east, the line was broken by the entry of a court. And just at that point, a certain sinister block of building thrust forward its gable on the street. It was two stories high, showed no window, nothing but a door on the lower story, and a blind forehead of discoloured wall on the upper, and bore in every feature the marks of prolonged and sordid negligence. The door, which was equipped with neither bell nor knocker, was blistered and disdained. Tramps slouched into the recess and struck matches on the panels. Children kept shop upon the steps. The schoolboy had tried his knife on the mouldings, and for a close on a generation no one had appeared to drive away these random visitors or to repair their ravages. Uh, the door is very important because it's um, an emblem of... Um, a symbol of... Hyde and Jekyll's corruption um, uh, and notice how the, the door reveals the character of the people, the person um, inside the building and notice how um, Stevenson personifies the um, building in which Hyde lives in. He says he has a blind forehead of discoloured wall on the upper. So in other words, this kind of um, uh, blindness, which is certainly a quality we find in Hyde, not a literal blindness, but a blindness to the um, terrible wrongs he is doing is there. And we also... Uh, the, he, he is there's something discoloured about Hyde. There's something very wrong about Hyde. And this is revealed in the description of um, the building. Um, and then the door itself has um, every marks of prolonged and sordid negligence. Um, and it's blistered and disdained. Um, Blistered is an interesting word, isn't it? Um, suggesting um, there's something diseased. He's um, and often, of course, blister associated with venereal disease, um, syphilitic. There's something syphilitic about this door. So 
we have in this opening description of both Utterson and the door in which he's um, walking past with Mr. Enfield, um, a powerful opening to this book that sets up a sense of um, that we're going to see, learn about someone Utterson knows that's corrupted, and we also have sets up a kind of real mystery as to what is behind the door. Um, so even in these first two pages, um, Stevenson is creating a powerful sense of suspense um, through his use of description of a particular place and particular character. So what I want you to do now is make some notes on the opening of the um, novel and think about how does he build up suspense through his use of description and think about how he does, does that in his characterization of Utterson. Remember he characterized Utterson as someone who's unshockable um, and is used to dealing with people who are um, on a downward slope. In other words, um, things are going wrong for them. And also in his description of the door itself, the door is a sort of symbol for something else.